Benjamin Franklin once said to beware of little expenses, a small leak will sink a great ship. Solomon was one such biblical character that teaches us how to manage the family finances. Of Solomon, H.H. H. Haley writes, he became the literary prodigy of the world of his day. His intellectual attainments were the wonder of the age. Kings came from the ends of the earth to hear him. Haley went on to observe that Solomon was a lecturer of such subjects as botany and zoology. Solomon was classified as a scientist, a political ruler, a poet, a moralist, a preacher, and a businessman with vast enterprises. Add to that is Solomon's wise words on money management. So long, Dave Ramsey and Clark Howard. Listen to what Solomon says. Be in debt. That's right, be in debt. But be in debt to God. Solomon said, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Proverbs 3, 9 through 10. When we realize that all we have is on loan from God, it will help us to prioritize our income and our outflow. So be in debt. But also save. While some find themselves in poverty, uh, do so through illness or other tragic circumstances, others are destitute because of a poor work ethic. Solomon said, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that uh, traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. That's Proverbs 23, 33, and 34. When you work, do your best to save. It won't always be easy, but every little bit you put back will be a benefit to you later in your golden years. Again, Solomon says, He becometh poor that dealt with a slack hand, but the end of the diligent maketh rich, Proverbs 10.4. Also, ignore the infomercials. If you've stayed up late at night, you've seen them. You know, the infomercials promising unbelievable wealth in just 30 days. Most of the programs are enticing. Some of them may even work. They all would have you believe that you can turn your financial circumstances around in just a short period of time, but you can't. Remember, a thing worth having is worth working for. Solomon said, Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Proverbs 13 and verse 11. Don't let your money own you. Stuff shouldn't own us. We should own the stuff. I read somewhere that personal debt in the U.S. is uh, increasing at a rate of $1,000 a second. I was uh, I'm not sure where that statistic came from, and I'm not sure if it's exactly right, but I suspect that it's probably in the ballpark. The rich ruleth the poor, and the borrower's server to the lender, Solomon said in Proverbs 22, 7. You know, Franklin was right. Be in debt. Be in debt to God. But manage your finances wisely. I hope you have a great day and a great week. May God bless you.